Hey, welcome back to Matt Break Studio. Steve and Mark here. We're talking about Final Cut Pro, and Steve always has great titles, so reverse favorites. Yeah, reverse favoriting. All right, you're going to have reverse favoriting. Right. Okay. In fact, let's just jump right into it. Let's do it. Okay, so here I have a short interview of my good friend, Abba Shapiro. He's talking about his passion, which is photography, and I want to just break this into little sound bites. You can see it's a clip here. And one of the things I'm not really crazy about is when I make a range of small sound bites, like if I press I there, I'm going to mark this little sound bite here. You know, I actually did photography as a kid back in the analog days where, you know. I actually did photography as a kid. So I pressed an O. Right. Do, do you see that the I, I did a little tiny range. It's a sliver. But you can't even tell, I can't. right? Because it's a long interview and you're marking in and out on a tiny section and right. you can't see the range. Yeah, but in fact, it's, it's kind of always bugged me that you couldn't zoom in. I remember the Media 100, you were able to like zoom in on the uh, in and out uh -huh, points. Well, uh -huh. Enlist view. Enlist view. So, so here's why. I have another method for doing this. Okay. And by okay. the way, even if you, if I took this my, my mouse over here and stretched you this way, wider. way, way out, yeah. and you all maybe right, you could close the library, you close the library, <laughs> library list, and I could do all that, but it's like you know what? That's still, still tiny. It's still, still tiny. tiny. So I'm yeah. going to press Option X to clear that, and I'm going to do it another way. So I'm going to select the clip, and I'm going to press E, and I'm going to just place it in this timeline here. I'm going to hit Shift Z to zoom in, and I'm going to start. I'm going to pick my sound bites by doing what my good friend Tom Wolski uh, calls slicing and dicing. And I, lo I, love, I love that term, you'll see why. So let's go ahead and uh, play a little bit about, of this. You know, so, so he's talking about, uh, I'm gonna go ahead. Now, I learned this from you from your warp speed editing tutorial. Uh -huh. I wanna break this little bite up from the rest. So I'm gonna press option W and add a little gap clip in there. So I've separated that bite. Okay. So then I'm gonna press L to play this. That. If you're interested in photography. You know, I actually did photography as a kid back in the analog days where, you know, uh, it was traditional, there were good cameras, and we did darkroom work. Okay, so that's a little bite that I want. So okay. I'm going to press Option W, and I've just separated that out. Now, oh, there's another sound bite over here that I like, and he's talking about... So you've inserted gap clips on yeah. either side of that sound bite. On either bite. side of the sound bite. You'll, you'll see why I do that in a moment. I'm pretty so I'm going to just... Um, there's another sound bite there, so I'm going to press Option W, down, and then we'll play this. I'm pretty diverse in what I like to capture. I mean, I, I do focus a lot on people. Uh, I work with a lot of, I work with models. I work organically doing, you know, street scenes and whatnot. I love landscapes and buildings. To me, it's all about shape. To me, it's all about shape. Really nice little sound bite. Okay, okay option so W again. Option W. And, and by, by the way, you're using the, the audio waveform to tell when he speaks. Yeah, so One I thing can... I love here is you can really tell exactly when the guy being interviewed or whoever's being interviewed is starting to talk again. Which is, I, I, I really should be working in this mode. Larger, right larger right. waveforms. In fact, I, didn't, I just left that out, but because now I can really see the, where he starts talking here, you know, see. It's very important for me to collaborate. Okay, so he's talking about collaboration here, so I press option W, and down there, we'll play a little bit of this. It's very important for me to collaborate. And so if I'm working with a model, I may have an idea, but it's important to me that I get feedback from them. Okay. Perfect. Feedback from them. Option, Option w, w. So now, okay. so now you can quickly and easily see where my best bits are, yeah. right? And yeah. I, I would go through the whole thing and do okay. this. And but, it's, it's basically as fast as doing I O F. Yeah, but here's but why. The here's why I like it. Remember, I said I couldn't zoom into the yes, film strip. Yes. Well, this is why I like this because I can now zoom in. You need command plus to zoom in. Command plus to zoom in, and mm -hmm. then if I want to, you know, adjust the either side of this, I can I can do that by virtue of the fact that. Um, I can, you know, get in there with zoom my right trim in tool. The right, right, but you right. can't zoom up in list view, but you can do it in the timeline. Right, so I can make mm -hmm. adjustments. Now, here's what here's where it gets really fun. I'm going to go ahead and select that. Uh, I I can tell the portions that I don't want. So I'd go ahead and select everything around my little sound bites and press and delete. Just get rid of them. Okay. Right. Shift so, Z. Shift Z. And look, I've got there's my, your sound bites. There's my sound bit. But now, <laughs> now is where it gets what I call reverse favoriting. The key. That's here's the key. The key is. Um, you want to make sure that you know he says, you know the um, the used media ranges is turned on because if I go to this clip which I just put in, I open this up. Yes. There are my used clips. There's your used right. clips in the timeline. Right. Yep. So. Yep. Reverse favoriting. So I'm going to select these three sections. Yes. And then just press F or click the star, and I've just favorited those sections. Okay. That's that's pretty cool. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Because you just turned them into favorites. I just so now if you delete them out of your timeline, they're still favorites they're still, they're up still, in your browser. They're still favorites, and they can even be named. So if I, if I go ahead and play this. If you're interested in photography... You know, 
I actually did photography as a kid back. So he's talking about photography as a kid. I can just select that and now photo as a kid, right? And then what's he saying here? So I select that. I'm pretty diverse. Okay, he's talking about he diversity. So return you, type. Yeah, return diversity. So you get the idea. I yep, can now go yep. to and, and then I'll. There's two benefits to this. One is I get favorites, and second, I have a little timeout timeline. I can actually keep this timeline, but I can copy and paste from this timeline into another and timeline. Another, or you could just start working with you've got your sound bites there. I mean, you could start building out your your piece right there, exactly. rearrange them, whatever. So that's why I, I kind of like this. I, that way, I can still zoom in. I can pick the best bits. I can get rid of what I don't, and I still get favorites out of it. Reverse like favoriting. Reverse favoriting by taking the fact that they're used clips that sets the ranges and then turn them into favorites. Very cool trick, very unusual, and, uh, and that, uh, I'd be interested to see if anybody else has kind of done that kind of workflow, because that's useful, I'm gonna try that out. Awesome tip. All right, great. All right, guys, hope you like that. You know all the social media stuff, it's all below. Check out all the details, ripletrain.com. Thank you very much for watching MacBreak Studio.